Have you taken care of those squatters? That's good to hear. Can't ever be too careful with strangers around here. Good work with those newcomers. I think you can handle more serious business with more serious rewards. There's a handful of greasers down in the sewers causing trouble. They ain't packing too much iron, but I'd like them dealt with all the same. Glad to hear it. Let me know when they're gone. So a monster rip a man in half at the thorn. So a monster rip a man in half at the thorn. Don't go too far. It's all Smells shadows like and dangers on lower levels. But at least we're safer than in the wastes. I doubt I can help you. I'm just a kid, you know. I bet NCR troops can't wait to clean the sewers. Only one bad thing about the thorn. It brings all the idiots, assholes, and topsiders down here. Watch out where you exit. The sewers can lead you to fiend territory. Just got to find me some sweet jet. me a good bet out of the thorn can't help thinking that we've not seen the last huh? of the fiends yet what the hell are you looking at punk oh yeah fuck off asshole I don't wait you've got a point all right, fellas, let's get out of this shithole. NCR came all the way to save us, huh? Guess they missed the shitholes. Going to place me a good bed at the thorn. Hope the fiends have learned their lesson.
You got something you want to say? Welcome to Freeside. Try not to get killed. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the other. Need some grub? You others this time around. Check out the Wrangler if she needs booze. What? We're gonna have rat tonight. If it can be bought, it can be... Stop by Mick and Roth's for all your shopping needs, sir. What's up? How's it going? Howdy. Feed a man for free, and he'll be back asking for more. Feed a man a bullet, you won't hear from him again. See ya. Hello again. St like I said before, not all followers are good with people. I'm fine doing it. Don't mind me. No one. There are so many refugees to care for. Did you see the monorail explode? The destruction was absolute. Did you see the monorail explode? The destruction was absolute.
I appreciate how you've been helping us so far. That stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at... You looking to join the Kings? Those squatters think they're entitled to everything. Where the food's cheaper, the table's you want more someone friendly, dead. and the women really are just dead. like the booze girls. Happy about the hey, baby, head we'll on the you want to have a good time. You want someone dead? Really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and... You want to get your hands on some of the deadliest weapons around? Head just down the street to the Silver Rush. Hey! Let's paint this place red. new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. It wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the Tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. 
Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep, I was damn good at my job too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again, and after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. Yep. Watch out! Vaporization subroutine initiated. You want someone dead, really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. It should only take... There. I've stored all of your weapons. You're clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Hello? Get the fuck away from me. The last man who bothered me volunteered to help test our weapons. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Of course.
Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Suit yourself. Not at all. There are chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. Yes, it is. My brother and I run this particular branch, but our family has operations all over, particularly in California. Oh, there's not much to tell. I was born into a big family and don't get along with my parents. So here I am, as far away from them as possible. Look around, and you'll notice two things. First, we don't lack for security. I'm not worried about anyone breaking in here or stealing our goods. Not that we don't occasionally have attempts, but even those prove useful. Do you know how much target dummies cost? Back to my point. The second thing you'll notice is that we do not sell cheap merchandise. Everything here is second to none. People who buy Van Graaff goods typically don't care where they have to go to get them. This place is certainly lively, that's for sure. Did you want to know something specific about it? I don't really have much to do with them. They seem to have an aversion to weapons technology, and those who possess a great deal of it. Their loss, really. Well, you probably noticed the Atomic Wrangler across the street. That's pretty much the place to go around here. They make it a little loud around here at night, but the business their proximity brings more than makes up for it. Other than them, you're better off skipping Freeside entirely and just heading to the Strip. Ah, the rulers of Freeside. The Kings are a bunch of boys who refuse to grow up, and this is their playground. Their leader seems different, though. The few times I've dealt with him, I've been impressed, despite myself. Unfortunately, he rarely acts. The Kings believe that everyone in Freeside can do whatever they want, provided they can back it up with force. Which suits us just fine. When we first arrived in Freeside, the Kings protested when we kicked out the original occupant of this establishment. When we reduced several of their members to glowing puddles of goo, their objections vanished. Since then, we've left each other alone. Suits me. What did you have in mind? Ran out of caps, eh? The job's still available, if you're interested. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right off. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out.
Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area while I get your gear ready. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor, with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? Lasers have a high rate of fire, but not a lot of stopping power. Plasma, on the other hand, is slow as a mule, but with a kick to match. So, what'll it be? Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. Settle in. You've got some hours left before your shift ends. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. Pick up a laser gun. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Another one coming. You're on. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Now hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? I suppose it's all right. If there's no other choice. He's clean. See? Told you so.
guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. Looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Stop! What in the hell do you suppose that was about? Help me clean this up. No one's going to want to shop here with the corpse out front. Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, bro. Things are about to get interesting. Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. Looking forward to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? I would, but I tend to distract the boss lady a little too much. She can't help herself. Anyway, I got things to do. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you get. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. I was just telling Gloria about your performance. Hell of a first day, huh? Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Huh? Hello? I was just telling Gloria about your performance. Help.
Sure could use a drink. Don't need this right now. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? Do you have what we requested? I wasn't informed there was to be an exchange on my part. What are you talking about? Such a thing is possible. I've been out in the field for some time. Fine. This should cover your grievance. Now the package, if you will. Ah, then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Saw a guy try to rush through the south gate a few days ago. Can't wait to hit the ring. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The King's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. What is tonight? Just me and my favorite girl. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the King. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my men tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings, too. I'm just looking out for my men. I'm not trying to get some kind of unfair advantage. I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Someone dead? Really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means.
Welcome to the silver. Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Or are you just here for the gun? And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Ah. Just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? No, no, no. That's not how it works. You don't get to weigh the options. You're either in or you're out. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I could talk to her, one-on-one. -on -one. You don't want us chatting, trust me. As for the girl, I just want to talk to her. And if you can't bring her here, then you're no use to me, or Gloria. So if you want to cause trouble in here over nothing, then go on, try. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. You find any evidence yet? I held off on filling them full of holes. So unless you give me a good reason to cool my heels soon, I'm not waiting much longer. All right then. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred, but Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Bahavi's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. You know what? I think you mean that. All right, maybe... As I live and breathe, Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Bahavi's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. You know what? I think you mean that. All right. Maybe... Welcome back. Please let... You find any evidence? Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best... Ah, I'm just kidding. Go on. The fiends have been less... I admire a woman who can hold... Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Sure.
Thanks. For the right caps, I might be able to put in a good word, or let people know you're not such a bad guy. What do you have in mind? Sorry, Bob, but I'm fresh out of ideas. I've done all I can to scrub up your rep around here. What's done is done. We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. Well, I wasn't expecting the increased NCR presence after the bombing to improve things, but I've been pleasantly surprised. The off-duty chumps who have been wandering through have been stopping in to buy drinks and pay for strange. I appreciate the extra income. We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker, someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. If you ever run across a sex bot, not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Find escorts to fill the positions and I'll pay double. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. And the best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Bye. Hold her liquor. Cute to boot. Should have. Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. Fuck no! No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? I wanted to be where the action is, so I got my dad to pull some strings and get me a cushy position with the Crimson Caravan. Everything was great until McLafferty came along. That old bitch is gonna hear about it from my dad, just you wait. One of the families that runs the strip. They're a pack of cheaters, but you still don't want to fuck with them. All right, all right, I believe you. Just don't say anything to my folks. You can tell the old hag I'm gone. Yeah, whatever. I believe that the fiends are gone when they stop their raiding and pillaging.
Hey there. You look... You find any evidence yet? I'm not gonna wait forever. So there's just one more safe to crack? Hope you can get to it. Say what you will about the two leading ladies. They watch their lockers like crows. Still, you got one, so the other might not be impossible. If you get both, then let's talk. And I appreciate you putting yourself at risk like this. Thanks. Welcome back. Yes. I understand that he's decided to quit outright, and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. I understand. No hard feelings. But you will, of course, keep our conversation on the matter strictly confidential. Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. 
This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. What would you like to know? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps in explosive devices for some reason. We may get a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. All right. Is there any... It's been a pleasure. Nelson will serve as example. We'll bleed the... You're back. Right? Let me do a quick test. All right. You're The reflex booster does exactly what it says. Speeds up your reaction times. For 4000 caps, I can attach the implant to your central nervous node. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. You're back. All right. The empathy synthesizer. Have a seat in the auto dock. And then...
low again. I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? You know what? You're right. I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle. I suppose I could be a loving muse to some, while simply relieve stress and tension in others. Thanks for that insight. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. It should be a nice change of pace from retirement. Pistols, grenades, we've got it all at the Silver Rush. Welcome back. I... You must not know a lot about my family, or you wouldn't have asked that. The Van Graffs and the NCR have been enemies for decades. They've tried to block our expansion for years, but we've managed to grow regardless. The problem is, they have too. The NCR is huge now. We're talking on a scale that's difficult to imagine. Time was, we could fight them and hold our own. Not so anymore. My family has enough men and guns to field a small army, but the NCR can field a really, really big army. Fighting them is out of the question now. I've only heard rumors, since this is the furthest east our operations go, but the rumors are pretty scary. They're said to be a huge slaver nation, with all the soldiers obeying their lord with unquestioning obedience. Sounds like a man I'd like to meet. Later. Bad guys won't see us coming. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, 
Was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Mojave's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. You know what? I think you mean that. All right. Maybe... Hello. Thief. You find any evidence yet? No shit. There it is. The blood, the motive, as clear as day. They must have penned these with snake venom. But... We got it. Now what? Sure, this damns them, but only if someone listens. Well, Jackson and the Mojave Outpost could get it to the folks in the West. I wouldn't trust anyone closer to the Colorado. And the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs have their heart back west. Not sure it'll do any good, though. All right, let's do it. Listen to what he has to say.
It's been a long tour. All I can... Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. What is it? Let me see. All right, this is... This explains a lot of the lost caravans. I thought it was Legion work, but... I can, if you make me a promise. I need you to swear you won't take revenge on Gloria or Alice. If you do, then your case is over, and we can't see that justice is done. I know some things are hard to let go, but you and Miss Cassidy need to understand that. Hear me? I can promise that. What happens after? Ugh. Not even God himself could move the Congress in or out of session. And this... this is a tricky matter. God, what a mess. People turning against each other when the Mojave's at risk of falling? If the Republic's sinkhole progress doesn't kill us, greed will. Thanks for bringing me this. I know revenge must have been tempting. For what it's worth, I appreciate you didn't shed any more blood. We need to save our strength for the Legion. I'll do what I can. And those folks that got killed need to be answered for. Well, that's settled, I suppose. No. No, I know. Just hard to say how I feel right now. Wait, that's not true. I think the NCR back west, when riled, is going to be the worst enemy the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan ever had. They're all so mired in procedure and paper out there. The kind of evidence we gave is going to be worse than shooting them. I think that settles accounts with me and my men. That was some tricky political maneuvering, but worth it, even if it takes a few years. All right, then. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. <laughs> 